Good morning. Today is Tuesday, January 26th, 2016. I'm Parker Parsons. How does a desert beetle prevent frost? We've got the details. And I'm Cammie Libert. We might know why zebras have stripes. We'll tell you. Your CSN News starts now. It's back. The event you've all heard about is coming. Save the date for the Men in Tights Volleyball Tournament on Wednesday, March 9th at 4 p.m. Team registration begins on February 22nd. Cost is $18 for a team of six. Brought to you by the Sports Med Club and NHS Volleyball. If you have any information about a crime, call Crime Stoppers at 343-COPS. You may remain anonymous and could be eligible for a reward of up to $1,000. Last week, the Leo Club made cat blankets. This Thursday, they'll be delivering them to the animal shelter and playing with the animals. If you'd like to join us, meet in room 674 after school Thursday. Sports Med Club has a meeting this Wednesday after school in the athletic training room. The next Skills USA meeting will be today at 2.45 p.m. in Mr. Babcock's room 410. If you are interested in being on the yearbook staff next year, please see Mrs. Levi to pick up an application. You must complete the application, pass your interview, teacher recommendations, and carry a 2.5 GPA or higher to be considered. All applications must be turned, in, turned back in by February 1st. If you have any questions, please stop by and ask Mrs. Le Levi in room 201. The first parent meeting for the Spain trip in 2017 will be Wednesday, January 27th from 6 to 7 p.m. In, in room 126. For more information and to sign up, come see Ms. Wright. We'll be right back after this. Everyone can get those straight A's. Some people just need a little more help. Well, you're in luck. Homework Club is now open. You can get that one-on-one -on -one help you want from your teachers. Go to room B201 to sign up. Homework Club meets from 2.45 to 4 p.m. on Tuesdays and Thursdays after school. Busing will be provided. Remember, you're in high school now, so your grades count. Join Homework Club today. To by Dr. Kim Keller. Your smile is your first impression. Make it a good one and visit Dr. Keller today. Today's high is 43 with a low of 27, mostly sunny. Tomorrow's high is 43 with a low of 27 as well. Mix of sun and clouds. Now back to you, Cami. Zebras are distinct because of their black and white striped coats. What's fascinating about those striped coats is that they come in different patterns that are unique to each zebra. Scientists have thought that these animals' black and white stripes are helpful in camouflage or in mate selection, as Charles Darwin argued. However, a study conducted at the University of California, Davis found these concepts may be inaccurate as we have been looking at zebra stripes in the wrong way. Scientists say that since the stripes can't be seen from the distances predators see at the likely reason zebras are striped is to help keep the animal cool and to fend off predator, er, predatory insects. A desert beetle taught scientists how to prevent frost on airplanes, coils, and windshields. A team of scientists at Virginia Tech has discovered a method for controlling and preventing frost, according to a study published in Scientific Reports, an online journal run by Nature. The method works around the combination of a specific pattern overlaid on top of a water-resistant surface. The team believes that by scaling up tests, the method would be con conducive for use on larger commercial objects, like airplanes. The inspiration for the effective frost prevention method came from an insect that lives in an environment where frost is rarely a problem. Scientists base their method off the shell of the beetle. Today's SAT word of the day is dispute, which means to disagree, to call into question, to struggle over or against. You could use it this way. Faced with evidence of his misdeed, the accused could not dispute that he had been in the wrong. Thanks for watching, and remember, if the news breaks, we'll, we'll fix, fix it. it. 